Hello everyone, my name is Elena, welcome to my channel. I post new tutorials every Sunday, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time when a tutorial goes live. And today I will show you how to crochet this cardigan. It's really nice for summer nights, for spring nights, in between the seasons. You can dress up and dress down this cardigan however you want, put a nice belt around it and all of a sudden you look more put together and more official and you can wear it as is for more relaxed and casual days. The cardigan is made out of a back panel and two front panels. The width of the base chain will determine the size. You can chain the chain as long as wide you want your back panel to be and then you're gonna divide the amount of those chains in half and you're gonna get your two front panels. One thing that I did not mention in the tutorial, um, just simply forgot, is that I flipped the work upside down and um, the base chain is actually on the top and the row that I finished my cardigan with is at the bottom. I used only one skein of the Lion Brand Pound of Love and as you can see my sleeves are not long, I did not have enough yarn. If you want longer sleeves, a larger size, you will need two skeins of that yarn. Also in the tutorial I did mention that if you want wide or kimono style sleeves, what you can do um, or how to gather the sleeve together. All I did is showed you how to gather the sleeve together but I had some extra yarn so I kept adding rounds until I used up the yarn and uh, therefore I ended up with a little a longer sleeve. And with all this being said, grab your yarn, crochet hook, let's get to work! I'm using a Lion Brand Pound of Love yarn and I will insert pictures with more detailed specifications about this yarn because I don't have the label. The yarn requires a 5mm hook but I will be using my 6mm hook. I just feel like it's nicer. The pattern calls of multiples of five for as long as wide you want your back panel to be and your front panels to be. So for size small uh, I chained for the back. I chained multiples of five, 75 chains plus six chains at the end. So 81 for my back and 40 plus 6 for the sides. So this is the information if you want to know comparing to uh, my cardigan. I will show you just a small example so we don't use up a lot of time. We will start with a slip knot and as I mentioned we need multiples of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You keep chaining until um, the base chain is wide enough for your back panel. Once you've done chaining multiples of 5, you will add 6 at the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As you can see, I'm already holding it, but uh, you would count seven from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into the seventh, you will put a double crochet. After that, you will chain five. One, two, three, four, five and put a double crochet into the same exact stitch. Now this is going to be a V-stitch with five chains in between the uh, double crochets. The regular V-stitch is a double crochet, chain one double crochet. This one is going to be an expanded V-stitch with five chains in between. Next, you will skip four one, two, three, four, and put an expanded V stitch into the next, into the fifth. Double crochet, chain five, and a double crochet into the same stitch. 
and you will keep repeating the same. Skip four and expanded V stitch into the next. Double crochet, chain five, double crochet into the same stitch till the end of the row. One, two, three, four into the next. And expanded V stitch. Two, three, four, five. V stitch into the same. And here you will skip one, two, three and put a double crochet to finish the row. Here this six chains, one, two, three is the skip the three and the chain three counts as a double crochet. Here is the same. So this is your first row with expanded V stitches with a double crochet in the, double, in the beginning and at the end. Turn the work. We will start by chaining three. That counts as the first double crochet. Now we will put a double crochet into this double crochet, which is right next to this chain or stitch. Now you chain five here. Skip the first chain, put single crochet into the second, into the third, and into the fourth. Skip the fifth, put double crochet in each of these two. Double crochet here and a double crochet into this double crochet. So we have two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets. And this is pretty much the repeat. So you skip the first chain, single crochet into the second, into the third and into the fourth chain, skip the fifth one and two double crochets, one in each of the double crochets from the previous row. And you are going to be repeating this till the end of the row. And here we will put a double crochet on top of this double crochet and a double crochet right into the next chain. And this is row number two. And now the repeat will start. We will be repeating only two rows. Turn the work. The row starts with chain three. That counts as the first double crochet. We will skip one, two, and put an expanded V stitch into the third chain. So double crochet, chain five, double crochet. And then the rest of the row goes the same. One, two, three, four, into the fifth or into the next, we put an expanded V stitch. Double crochet, chain five, double crochet into the same space or same stitch. Then again, skip four and expanded V stitch into the next. Double crochet, chain five, double crochet into the same. And as you can see, we're repeating the same exact steps. And to finish the row, one, two, three, four, into the next double crochet, chain five. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining so <laughs> strong. It's actually very nice. And here you are gonna skip two, just like when you started, you skipped two, and put the last double crochet into the third chain from the beginning of the row. If you're following the pattern correctly, you should not have any extra stitches. 
So chain three, you skipped two, and here you skipped two, and put the last double crochet. And that is the end of row number three. So every odd row is going to be with expanded V stitches, and every even row is going to be kind of filling in the top. So you will turn the work to start a row number four. You will chain three. Actually, you're going to be repeating exactly the same of row number two. Chain three. A double crochet goes into the double crochet. And then single crochets. Skip the first. Single crochet into the second chain. Third chain. And fourth chain. Then you skip the fifth and put one double crochet in each of these two double crochets from the previous row. And keeping on with the pattern, three single crochets into the second, third and fourth, one single crochet in each, and two double crochets. And to finish off the row, you will put single crochets into the second, third and fourth chain, a double crochet into the last double crochet, and a double crochet into the third chain from the previous row. And there you have your four rows. Now you're going to turn the work and if you don't remember the pattern, you would have to rewind the video where we made a row number three. And this is how you're going to be going, repeating row number, let's say three and four, or two and three for as many times as long you want your cardigan to be. And after you have finished your back panel and your two front panels, go ahead and sew them. For me, I used, for my shoulder width, I used one, two, three, let's say four spaces or however you want to call them and sewed only this part and left this open. For the sleeves, let's count how many I left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, of these circles. It's not seven rows, I think it's 14 rows uh, if we double them. But this is the opening for my sleeves. And now, once you've sewn all the parts together, let's go ahead and put the sleeves. And this is our sleeve. You, uh, if you are watching my tutorials, you know that I always join in the armpit and always have your project um, turned with the right side up. This time we will join from the inside. And uh, right here I have two spaces right at the seam. So I will join from the wrong side. and chain three that will count as the first double crochet. Now as you can see we have spaces right here on the sides. So we will move to the next space and put an expanded v-stitch. Double crochet, chain five, and double crochet into that space. Then we will move to the next one. We will skip this group of double crochets and put a, an expanded V-stitch into the next space. Double crochet, chain 5, double crochet. Move to the next space and repeat the same. Put an expanded V-stitch in it. And so on till the end of the round. So you're going to go all the way around and we will meet here at the last opening. So just use up only the spaces with double crochet, chain five, double crochet. When you come to the part where you sew the both panels together, you are gonna have two spaces uh, together. So now we are gonna have to switch because we don't want two V-stitches right next to each other. Uh, on the other side, you are gonna be working into the double crochet um, part. So you will skip the next space and work 
into the groups. So just pull one of the double crochets aside and work underneath it. And if you don't care or want your sleeves to be wider, you can keep going only into the spaces. So I'm skipping the space now and pulling one of the double crochets and putting an expanded V-stitch in it. Five and a double crochet. And this is how it's gonna look like. So space, space, and then into the double crochets. And here I'm coming to the end of the round. Let me move this tail. I'm gonna put the last expanded V stitch into this space. One, two, three, four, five double crochet and see how it worked um, exactly like I want it. I will put a double crochet into the last space and slip stitch into the third chain right here. So the armpit will not have a V stitch, it will have two double crochets. Now you are going to turn the work and chain three that will count as a double crochet and according to the um, pattern we will have to put a double crochet into the, this double, the first double crochet of the V-stitch and keep going with the pattern. Skip the first chain single crochet into the second, third, and fourth, and two double crochets, one in each double crochet, double crochet, and again single crochets into the second chain, into the third, and fourth, and again two double crochets, one in each. And this is how we're gonna go all the way around. We're not changing anything, we are following the same exact pattern. And there we go. And this is the sleeve so far, and we're coming to the end of the round. Well, not really, but we have two more V-stitches to go. So, the single crochets, then two double crochets, one in each, and the last three single crochets into the second, third, and fourth. like so. And you will put a double crochet into the last double crochet and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. Chain 3 that will count as the double crochet. You are gonna skip 2 and put a v-stitch into the third. Just like you had it for the rows. 3, 4, 5 and there's your v-stitch and from now on you're skipping four and a v-stitch into the fifth. So there are no changes in the pattern for the sleeve comparing to the actual uh, rows. And you're gonna go all the way around, I'll meet you here. And I'm almost at the end of the round, one, two, three, four, into the fifth. I'm putting the last uh, expanded V-stitch and according to the pattern, the row pattern, the same thing, we are gonna skip two and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. 
like so. This is what we have. And now, again, turn to the right side. Make sure to turn the work every single round you work. And here, we will start as usual. Chain three counts as a double crochet. Put a double crochet into the double crochet. Then just repeat round number two. Single crochet into the second, third, and fourth chains from the arch. And two double crochets, one in each leg of the V stitch, all the way around. And this is how you're going to be working the sleeve. Again, uh, you're going to be repeating the video to whichever round you need. All um, odd rounds contain V stitches or all even rounds will be with uh, double crochets and single crochets. So just keep adding rounds for as long as you want your sleeve to be. The sleeve, once you make it as long as you want, uh, it's time to finish it. If you like bell sleeves or bell shaped sleeves or widen sleeves, you would finish with this round where you put the um, <coughs> Of double crochets and single crochets. Do not turn your work. Um, just continue as is and put double crochets in each stitch around. This way you are gonna keep the bell shape. You can see it naturally widens, then you can either iron it or steam it, also widen it even uh, more. I don't like wide sleeves. I like my sleeves to be gathered, so I will show you how I'm gonna gather this sleeve. I will too uh, not uh, turn the work, just continue as is, so chain 3 counts as a double crochet. Then I will put a double crochet on top of the double crochet. The 3 single crochets, I will put 3 double crochets together. So yarn over, insert the hook into the first single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two loops. Then moving to the next, yarn over, insert the hook into the second single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two loops. And third, yarn over, insert the hook into the third single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two loops. And you can see you have three unfinished double crochets plus the chain from or the loop from this double crochet. N now you're gonna yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then you have two double crochets. You'll put a double, double crochet in each of them. And we are again at the three single crochets and we are gonna repeat the same. Yarn over, insert the hook into the first single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Moving on to the next, yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, move into the last single crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all loops. And we have two double crochets. We will put double crochet in each. And it started gathering already. And these are the last couple of stitches. So the three single crochets worked. And I have one more stitch to put a double crochet in and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. One, two, three. Chain one and pull up a long loop, the one that you're gonna work in later. And this is how the sleeve looks like, gathered together. And this is how the cardigan looks like. The sleeves are three quarters because 
these two small balls of yarn is everything what I have left from that big skein. Um, I want to add a border around the neck and uh, in the front. Um, maybe two rows of double crochets. And if I'm going to have anything left, I'm just going to put it towards the sleeves. And to start the border, I will start it um, on the left panel and from uh, with the wrong side side will turn towards me uh, slip stitch or slip knot and let's join in the corner one two three into the third stitch or chain and chain three that will count as a double crochet Right here on the sides we have uh, double crochets or chain three. I usually like to put two double crochets in each space. So two double crochets in this space. Moving on two double crochets into the next space. Here where you have three in a row or three together just pull this one the last one and go underneath it and put two double crochets there then move on two double crochets into the space and pretty much repeat the same putting two double crochets in each row move the double crochet To me, uh, two double crochets are enough so it's not too flared and it's not too gathered and if you're wondering how it looks like, this is how it looks like. It's pretty straight, nothing flared, and I'm almost at the top. Put the last two double crochets into the last space. And now to make the curve, I will put three double crochets into the corner. One. two, three, and it made, made the curve. And now here I'll put one more double crochet into this space, a double crochet into this space, two double crochets here, Actually, I'm going to need three, like so. One into the space. And if I didn't mention, I uh, sewed the panels upside down. So the foundation row, the beginning row, is on top where my uh, neckline is. Okay, when you get to the corner, you want this to um, not flare out. So I will put two double crochets, actually no, one double crochet into the space and then put one, two, three, four, five together. So yarn over one unfinished double crochet, two unfinished double crochets, then we have these two connected together, uh, three, four, five, and six, so not five, six. And now all of them yarn over and pull through all of them. And then we know that in the spaces we have three double crochets, we have two unfinished and I will add one more and then one into the next and let me show you what we've got. Here, when you fold the neckline, you are going to have a really nice angle that is not um, bulging out. Let me add a few more double crochets and you're going to be able to see it. So three more double crochets into the space. One, two, three, and then into the V-stitch 
and then three again and into the V-stitch and now it's better see the corner is flat and this is how it looks you gather them all together so it's not floppy like this and you're gonna do the same exact thing on this corner and you're gonna go all the way down until you reach the end of this panel and then you will turn the work and put double crochets from here on and here it is so I just finished with the not finished continued with double crochets and did exactly the same thing six double crochets together uh, if you don't have to have six just make sure uh, whichever number on this side make the same number on this side and crochet them together and then you will continue and make the corner so um, I kept it symmetrical if I had here a double crochet and then three double crochets in the corner did the same exact thing put a double crochet here three double crochets in the corner and carry on with double crochets all the way down and once you've reached the bottom of the um, other panel you're gonna turn the work chain three that will count as the first double crochet and put double crochets on top of the double crochets from the previous row or double crochets in each stitch all the way around and here we are at the corner uh, of the panel so if you remember <laughs> of course you do we put three double crochets in the corner uh, now you are going to put one double crochet into the first and you are going to put three double crochets into the middle one into the second one one two three and that is our curve and now we are going to put double crochet into the third one so on top of the three double crochets we put one three into the second and one on top of the third and now double crochets um, until you reach the um, where the front and back panels meet and now because we have already collected them together and they don't need to be collected any more uh, all we can do is just use three stitches these two on the side and the middle one so insert the hook into the one on this side make one unfinished double crochet then into the center where you collected all these six ones and then one in the next stitch right here three stitches together and exactly the same thing you're gonna do on this side when you reach you're gonna use only these three one two three three together and carry on when you reach to the corner this three you're gonna put one double crochet three double crochet in the corner one double crochet and carry on till the end of the next uh, the second panel and you're gonna be done and this was it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and will give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and come back next Sunday for another free crocheting tutorial. I will see you soon. Bye-bye!